Today we're at Minnesota Beach, which is pretty close to Venice Beach yeah. in Florida. In Englewood. Englewood. Yeah. Yeah. And we're at the beach not to swim no. or sunbathe. Cold water. <laughs> yeah. Or anything like that. We came here specifically because this part of Florida is the highest concentration of shark's teeth yeah. anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. That's what we've been told. Yeah, so <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking if there's shark's teeth, there's sharks. <laughs> so lots of shark's teeth equals lots of sharks. No, yeah. But that's not necessarily true. No. These are fossilized shark's teeth. So millions of years ago, when Florida was completely underwater, yeah. there was a high concentration of sharks in this area. Mm -hmm. And sharks go through thousands of teeth throughout their lifetimes. Yeah. They lose all these teeth and then uh, they became fossilized. Mm -hmm. And so for miles of beach and for several feet deep, mm -hmm. there's sharks teeth everywhere, yep. supposedly. It's buried treasure. Yeah. <laughs> you can get a shark tooth sifter. Yeah. Say that three times fast. Shark tooth sifter. Shark tooth sifter. Shark tooth. <laughs> <laughs> But they're pretty expensive. So today we're gonna do some poor man's yeah. shark tooth hunting. Yeah. <laughs> and what's really and cool. You know all about that. <laughs> I've never hunted shark's teeth before, but I do know about poor man's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I will find the cheapest way yes. to get it done possible. <laughs> that's right. The other thing that's cool is there's there's pelicans and seagulls out here that are like actively fishing. Oh man, they are dive bombing. Dive bombing straight in. Like missiles in the yeah. water. So we'll film some of that. We'll show you some of that. And, uh, but real quick, we'll take you out to the water and I'll show you how to find shark's teeth. <laughs> okay, hopefully. Poor man's shark tooth hunting. <laughs> <laughs> you can get you some fancy dancy equipment like the shark tooth sifter that I was talking about. There's actually two kinds of sifters. There's one that's on a, on a stick that you get up all the stuff and there's one that floats on the surface of the water that you dump the stuff into and then sift through it and that's for finding like the big big shark's teeth but today i got my five dollar and 99 cent <laughs> net <laughs> now supposedly all the shark's teeth most of the shark's teeth are down here as soon as, it, as soon as the beach breaks off it, it drops about a foot down into the water and right off of that break if you dig down a little bit that's where you can get the shark's teeth so i'm gonna do that real quick I'm gonna go get a big chunk and then I'll just like sift all of the little stuff out and then we'll see what's left. That's a good one right there. Yeah, that is a good one. Now these little black bits you can see, like they are our shark's teeth or used to be shark's teeth, but they're just so they're so polished down that I mean it's hard to even tell that it is that anymore, but since you see the ones that are out here that are in in full tact, you know that this is a shark's tooth, even though it's not complete. And none of these are none of these are sharp. You don't have to worry about stepping on with your feet. You would think that well, shark's tooth is going to be sharp, it'll stick me in the foot. But these are like they're polished now. So they've been they've been out here for thousands, millions of years, just hitting the waves, and so all of the sharp, jagged edges are polished down on them. You can see what I'm talking about here with this guy. I mean, it does have that sharp tip, but where it would have the little jagged edges on a regular shark's tooth, they just don't have them anymore because it's just polished down. All right, we're going to keep hunting. And when we're done, we'll show you our, our haul, our haul <laughs> what all we collected for shark's teeth. And, um, and we'll show you some footage of these cool birds doing their dive bombs. It's really fun. <laughs> Today we are at Manatee Park in Fort Myers, Florida. 
And um, the manatees are in. We have confirmed. Yeah. This is our second attempt to try to see manatees. Yes. We were at Blue Springs in Daytona a few weeks ago, and they were not in yet. Right. They are in here. Yes, they are. At um, Manatee Park. However, the water is not nearly as clear here. No, it's not a spring yeah. like we're used to. So you can only see them when they surface to breathe. Yeah. Here they're off the canal that runs by the power plant. Yeah. That's what brings them in. Yeah, because the, the water runoff from the power plant. There. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're probably not going to do the kayak rental from here because it's about 50 bucks for a tandem kayak. And the underwater camera wouldn't capture much. No, not here. And we can pretty much see as much of the manatees from shore as we would be able to see from the kayak. I mean, I'm sure it'd be fun to kayak. Yeah, but you have to keep your distance from them anyway. You're not allowed to be yeah. close to them. So, so I'm not sure it's worth the, the 50 bucks. If it, if it was a Crystal River scenario where it's, yeah. you could see forever in the water, then it would be worth it. Or if I think this was our last opportunity to see them, we might get in the water with them. Yes. But but we have one more opportunity. One more chance up in Crystal <laughs> River, and I think it's going to be a little more clear. So we'll save that. It was $5 to park to get in here, but that's the only other fee yeah. that you have to pay. So we will take you around and explore Manatee Park. Hopefully we'll be able to see some manatees and maybe some other things. Yeah. All right, here we go. Just walked off the dock and <laughs> really wasn't paying attention. Thought this dude was real. He scared the crap out of us. Bad placement. Yeah, and it looks it looks pretty real. So when you like just walking past, you glance over there, you think like this. <laughs> so if you're walking off the, the dock here, this guy's not real. <laughs> yeah, you can see the plant is here and their water runoff runs into here. So all that warm water runs into the canal and then you can see all the manatees hanging out right here. But I'll show you where the kayakers are. The kayakers can't go past that fence back there. So none of the kayakers can get into this area where all of the manatees are. It was fun. It yeah. was worth it. Yeah. I mean, five bucks to park all yeah. day. And how long were we here? Mm, an hour. About an hour or so. Yeah. Um, I think if you had your own kayak, it might be worth coming out. Because the canal looks. Get out on the water. It looks beautiful, beautiful out there. Yeah. I'm sure you see some other wildlife too. But um, to rent the kayak, where the kayakers can go, like we already said, there might be a manatee or two. Yeah. Out there. And I, I would assume that if a manatee does come out there, all the kayakers would be like yeah. huddled around trying to see that one or two manatee, and it might not be worth. No. What's, what's the plural of manatee? Manatees? Manatee? Manatee. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to correct you. <laughs> the manatees. Uh, teases. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is worth it. it was, Guessing it's, you weren't an English major. No. <laughs> It's good just to kill some time down here in Fort Myers. Yeah, it was Myers. beautiful. A great day to see them. Awesome day. And, they were uh, active. There's there's like three different viewing areas. They're like little, um, they're like cut-ins from the sidewalk that you can go yeah, a little bit closer to the water yeah. to see them. So that we got to see them from each one of those. Um, the one was close to the so, front. There wasn't very many there. There was more in the middle, middle yeah. than there was. It was a sweet spot for them. The other end was closer to the kayaking area. There was a few in there, maybe just three or few, four. Yeah. And then right at that main area, that's where they were yeah. all just kind of hanging out. Yeah. Because it was water was warm there, the current wasn't strong there, 
and they're far away from the from kayakers. kayakers. So it's like a perfect little safe haven. Yeah. And they don't let you get too close. They got the fence. Even from the viewing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I had to do a lot of zooming in to just get good shots because you can't physically get too close yeah. to the water. Now, there was one time where something spooked them. Yeah, that was so funny. Which was cool. They all panicked. And it just so happened I was filming in slow motion like at the time and they were all like... <laughs> <laughs> but it was pretty cool. It was like a tidal wave. <laughs> Well, some babies. The babies are that is so sweet to see all those babies because that means they're out there making babies. Yeah, and we did learn. They're endangered, so yeah. it's nice to see that they're trying to keep the numbers up. Yeah, we did learn something about baby manatees. Yeah. They mature at three years old. Yeah, that's too young. The mamas are pregnant <laughs> for 13 months. No, no. With babies. Nine is painful enough. Now they they reach maturity at three years, but they can't start breeding until they're six to ten years old. And the the mamas will go several years between pregnancies. Yes. So they don't reproduce very quickly. Which is why they are endangered. And almost every single manatee out there had some sort of damage. Oh yeah. From, from like boaters. a prop blade yeah. or other animals or whatever it may be. But there was not one manatee that was unscathed. Yeah. Uh, and that's why they're endangered because they just get hit so often. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. If you get the chance down here in Fort Myers, definitely come by. At least pay the five bucks to park. Go out, walk the boardwalk, and yeah. see the manatees. Definitely it's worth it. Great place to picnic and just spend yeah. an afternoon. So a little bit of manatee uh, footage for you, but we're going to try our best to get some even better footage when we get up to Crystal, Crystal River. River. Yeah. We'll get in the water, and it's supposed to be clearer up there. So hopefully there will be some great manatee footage coming to a awesome. YouTube awesome. channel near you. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's it from here. We, um, I like we do at the end of all of our videos. We're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Drink it. I'm not drink it. it. Does. <laughs> you have lost your mind. I think I'm drinking that. Drink, 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 drink. I don't fall to peer pressure. Drink it. Yeah, I will admit, though, it did taste better than it smells. It really does. It smells god awful. Do this. Do this. <laughs>